guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica, for those of you who are new to this channel. Thank you so much for watching, I really, really appreciate it. In today's video, we are gonna be going over how to organize your small pantry space. And my husband and I, we actually live in a one bedroom apartment here in Los Angeles, and I actually absolutely love it. I think it's perfect just for where we're at in our lives right now. But if I'm honest, our pantry space is definitely limited. So I'm excited to show you how we like to organize our small pantry and some of the cabinets just so we know where everything's at and your girl stays sane. <laughs> also, with everything happening in the world, you know, the tagline or, or theme to this YouTube channel is spread the love. And that doesn't just mean, you know, sharing information and tips and tricks and spreading love that way, but it also is an encouragement to, you know, spread the love in the world and be that loving and positive change you want to see in the world. I think so much of the time real change happens by, you know, educating ourselves and changing our hearts and, and having those, those um, conversations in our home. So with that said, in the description box below, You'll find some resources, you'll find some organizations listed there that support the fight against racism. In addition to those organizations, I just thought it was appropriate for this video, since it's a food pantry video, to also list some credible food pantries or food uh, food banks that you can donate to to help people in need. I, again, I just encourage you to be that beautiful example that of the, ch the loving change that we need in this world and um, you know have those conversations and let's spread the love. With with that said, if you guys are ready to dive into this video and see how we like to organize our small pantry space, um, be sure to like and subscribe to help grow the channel. And if you do that, I, you know, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, and keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so welcome to our kitchen. Um, I actually really love our kitchen. You know, I we definitely do a decent amount of cooking and it's it's perfect. It's perfect for just the two of us and um, maybe if we had, you know, a slightly bigger family, kids or something like that, it might be a bit small, but for two people, it's, it's great. Okay, so before I show you our pantry space and before you organize your own pantry space, there are definitely a couple of things I'd encourage you to do first. Number one, you're going to want to take everything out, and yes, I mean everything, <laughs> out of your pantry and take a look at your pantry inventory, if you will, and just look at each item, look at the expiration dates. You just want to be honest with yourself about what are those pantry essential items that you and your family or, or you and your roommate will actually eat every day or, or every week. You really want your pantry to match your lifestyle and not just have a ton of items in there that you might just maybe eat one day. And there definitely will be items that, yes, you will have extra of, and there's nothing wrong with having like a little overstock bin or even some items there in case of an emergency. But I'm talking about when you're looking at your pantry inventory, um, are there any items that you're just overbuying or really items that are about to go bad because you forgot they were even there and you really don't use them. So that is more what I would challenge you to do before you organize your pantry. One thing that I've really taken away when it comes to organizing a small pantry or small space or any space for that matter, is to really make sure that everything is given a home. Assign a home for different categories, especially for your pantry. So one shelf, for example, could be your sweets shelf. Another could be your sauce shelf and then et cetera. You just keep going on and on and just organize it by home if you will. Or let's say you have a small pantry and you're one that loves to entertain. I think sometimes people who love to entertain feel like they have to have everything under the sun in their pantry ready for guests for when they come over. And that's not true. Don't put that pressure on yourself um, to do that. What you would do, going back to assigning a home for, for your, all the spaces, is have a shelf or have a cabinet, depending on the amount of space you have, and make that your entertainment shelf or entertainment cabinet and have some popcorn in there, have some tortilla chips, a jar of queso and a jar of salsa. It still allows you to be ready for when friends come over, but it doesn't make you feel like you just have a ton of food in your pantry just waiting to go bad. I will show you how I like to assign my shelving, if you will, in just a minute. So the second thing that I really love to do when it comes to organizing your pantry is you want to make sure that it's really easy to clearly see everything on your shelves and in your pantry. So that means no overcrowding your shelves, but also I'd really encourage you to invest in um, getting some clear containers 
for your food items and investing in some baskets as well, some pantry baskets that just makes it, make it really easy to clearly see everything and stay organized. Not only will having clear containers for your food make your pantry look beautiful and uniformed, but at least for us, it's really helped us to keep tabs on how much of our pantry items that we're actually eating and it's actually helped our grocery bill as well. You can get clear containers from Target or Amazon or the container store, really wherever. Um, we like to use glass containers. Um, I would say most of our containers are glass, maybe with the exception of like two. But yeah, same thing with baskets. You can get them any of those places that I just listed. But regardless of whatever you know types of containers you like to have for your pantry, clear containers and baskets are a mess. Okay, so the third and final thing, and the number three thing that I would recommend for you to do is to get labels. Um, now you can get labels that you write out yourself or buy some fairly affordable labels that you can get from Amazon or um, I know the container store has some, but labels are just kind of that, you know, cherry on top when it comes to your pantry. Not only do they help you know what what item is in the clear containers, but they just make your pantry look so beautiful and it's just really uniformed and kind of just that perfect touch. By the way, any of the items that I have in my pantry, I'll be sure to put in the description box below of where I got them. So um, that way you can reference them if you are interested. Okay, so up here is actually one of my pantry cabinets. And going back to earlier when I mentioned about assigning everything at home, this uh, cabinet is for my dried grains and pastas. So I'll go ahead and open it so you guys can take a look. As you can see, I like to use glass airtight mason jars to organize my dried food items. And like I mentioned earlier, labeling is key. You can see my white rice, my brown rice, my spaghetti and oats for my oatmeal. I love that they're just all here and easy access. Another thing that I really like to do is I'll go ahead and grab one to show you. I like to put the expiration date on the bottom of each glass container. I just take a piece of paper and tape it on. And these are items that, you know, I use weekly these are not things that are going to be sitting here for a year untouched but in the case that you know maybe i'm running low and then i go on a vacation or something like that where i'm going to be gone for a couple of weeks it's still good to have the expiration date somewhere on the container just to reference if you need to so that is my dried grains and pasta cabinet you know it's funny it kind of looks like i have a lot of food storage but the way that they built this apartment this is uh deceiving because this is actually where we keep um our ironing board, not, not pantry space, just for the ironing board. So turning the corner here to this side of the cabinet, I'll go ahead and open it so you can see. Um, this is, I feel like my breakfast corner because right here is the oats for oatmeal. And then right here you can see it's our granola. And then we have our two containers full um, of cereal that we like. And you know, those two cereal containers are like the only two containers that I have that aren't glass. And it's because I cannot find cereal containers that pour like they do, but in glass. So if you guys know of any, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to find some. I just, I haven't had any luck, so let your girl know. Okay, so moving on to this pantry space right here. Um, this is actually the proper pantry space that our kitchen came with. And I'll go ahead and open it so you guys can take a look. And again, I know that it looks like I have additional storage right here, but it's deceiving to the eye because if you open it, <laughs> it's actually the exact same pantry, just with two doors. So yeah, I don't know. That's just how they made it. So <laughs> what are you going to do? So this first shelf is our onions and garlic shelf. Now we love onions and garlic. We almost always cook them together. So we just went ahead and put them um, next to each other. Now these are one of the baskets that I would strongly recommend looking into when you are organizing your pantry. These are really great for onions, um, garlic, and potatoes um, because onions, garlic, and potatoes actually are best stored in cool, dry, ventilated, um, and dark areas, aka a pantry. And these baskets are great for helping the ventilation. So I strongly recommend them. Um, again, I'll put everything in the description box below so you guys can reference it, but these are great. So these next two shelves are my baking slash sweet shelves. As you can see, my flour, cane sugar, brown sugar, baking powder, they're all here. And again, in airtight glass mason jars. And of course, labeled with the expiration dates on the bottom of those containers as well. And then on my second shelf, this is again, baking slash sweet. So we have my chocolate chips here. We have some um, frosting, some you know box cake, and then anything sweet. So we have honey, 
And then in this cute little basket, we have our maple syrup and some more chocolate, vanilla extract, even some cups for baking muffins and, and cupcakes. And this is actually another one of the baskets that I absolutely love to use when organizing my pantry. And these are really just great for anything kind of that is a smaller item and you don't want it to get, you know, crowded in the shelf and you know you don't want it to get knocked over it's really great just to put them in a cute little basket so they're together and organized but they're just you know stay kind of in one place and you can pull out this uh, basket when you need it so absolutely love it and would definitely recommend so this next shelf is our sauce shelf if you will so anything sauce but we are huge hot sauce people we have everything from cholula tabasco tapatio sriracha um, Red Rooster, we have additional ones that I can't think of off the top of my head right now, but we are huge hot sauce people. We love our variety and are very proud of our, of our variety. But it, again, it's anything sauces. So we have soy sauce, um, here we have our spaghetti sauce, and we also have barbecue sauce as well. So it's really easy. Anytime I'm cooking and I you know, need a sauce of some sort, I know exactly where to go. And lastly, the final shelf in this pantry is our potato shelf. So here's that basket again, the one that I love that I mentioned earlier that is wonderful for onions, garlic, and potatoes. It's just a bigger version so um, that it fits all my potatoes. And one fun fact is that you actually should not store your potatoes and your onions together. The reason is because onions actually release a gas that caused your potatoes to ripen and go bad faster. So it's always good to make sure that they're stored separately if you can just so your potatoes last longer okay so moving on to this cabinet I'll go ahead and open it so you can take a look um, this first shelf is my snack shelf now my husband and I don't I don't know we don't snack on that many pantry items I feel like if we do snack we definitely usually snack on like fruits for sure but when we do want a pantry item to snack on this is where we go and I just love it. I love putting snacks specifically into either a basket or, or glass jars. I feel like snacks a lot of times are, are packaged in just an assortment of different ways. And so sometimes that makes it just hard to stack them or keep them organized on their own. So keeping snacks in jars or a basket is just kind of an easy way to keep them together so they're not falling all over the place, but they're still like organized and, and pretty and together, if that makes sense. Also, these baskets are actually the exact same ones that I showed you earlier in my baking shelf, the one that I used to store kind of the smaller items. It's the exact same basket, just a bigger size. So love, love this one. And then of course I have like a little label that says snacks. And again, just a nice way to keep my snacks together, keep them organized. And it looks really pretty and nice. So I love it. Moving to the second shelf. This is kind of the home to my lentils and beans. So I keep them all together here. Um, I obviously have some dried lentils, dried beans that I keep in a glass airtight mason jar and with a label matches all the other uh, mason jars that I have. And then next to them, you'll actually see this cabinet is where I like to store a lot of my boxed goods and canned goods. So right next to it, you also see, of course, a variety of canned beans that um, I love to have on hand. And then going to the top shelf, that is where you'll see my chicken stocks, my vegetable stocks. They're lined up there. If I ever want soup one night then i have a variety of soups lined up there and then i also love to cook with like coconut milk curries and different things like that so um i have my coconut milk there ready for me when i'm ready to use it and also the way i've organized it from bottom to top are just things that i would use most frequently to not as frequently now mind you these are still things i use all the time all Oh, every shelf are things I use all the time, but I probably snack a little bit more often than use, you know, beans than use chicken stock, if that makes sense. So that is how, um, how I've done it. Okay, so moving on to the cabinet right above my microwave, and that is where I keep kind of my overstock stuff, if you will. This is where I keep my extra oatmeal and ketchup and almond milk and I have extra peanut butter and um, even some ramen up there and then an extra bag of skinny popcorn for when the snack one is done. So just anything extra, that's where I put it. It's always good to have like a little overstock area as well. Okay, so here is our final cabinet and this is actually um, to the right of the stove and so I've really made this cabinet kind of my spices and like cooking I don't know cooking essentials 
cabinet. So this first shelf here, as you can see, is like my spice shelf. And now I know some might love like a spice rack where you have it out on the counter, but I think for for me at least, I don't like too many things out on my counters. I mean, our kitchen is a good size, but it's not huge. So I have like my paper towels, knives, and um, my coffee maker, which is essential. <laughs> so I like putting my spices in a shelf, but if you are one that likes to have it on the counter, then that's totally fine. And then you have maybe an extra space in your cabinetry that you can put other stuff in. So um, always do what's best for your family, but this is just what works for us. So first I actually have have this spice rack that is like stackable and I absolutely love it because it makes it so easy to see all of your your spices in the shelf the way I've organized my spices is that I like to put the ones closest to the front that I use most often the second shelf is kind of where I put maybe those those spices that I still use often but not every day so I might put like cinnamon there um, turmeric uh, those those spices that are just not used as often and then the third shelf that is actually where I put like the spices I barely use maybe I use them like three times a year for special um, like a holiday or something like that and that's also where I put like additional like extra spices of the ones I use often so I have extra salt and pepper back there I have extra garlic powder back there and um, yeah that is how I decided to organize our our spices and it works well everything's super easy to get super easy to see everything and it's fabulous so this second shelf this is like our cooking oils slash vinegars shelf <laughs> um, so I'll have my canola oil here my extra virgin olive oil here um, my Pam spray my organic balsamic vinegar um, apple cider vinegar up there so just anything that I use for you know oil vinegar that goes here and the third uh, shelf is actually not that big but that is where I put any additional spices that I might use uh, for cooking so I have some breadcrumbs up there and things like that that's what I would keep up there now another thing that you can do if you're just like oh my goodness my kitchen just does not have enough pantry space and cabinets you can get a old bookcase or even maybe you know some of those shelves from Ikea and the ones that mount onto the wall and get like two or three of those shelves and mount them on the wall and you've just created some open shelving almost like farmhouse style um, you know pantry space you can get some glass mason jars and some cute baskets and it's still really stylish but it's still very functional and provides that extra space and storage that you need for your pantry items so just a fun little tip there if you're really looking for um, that extra storage and pantry space so one thing that we've done to create just a little bit more um, shelving in our kitchen is we got this shelving unit from Ikea and we use it as our drinking bar and so starting at the bottom that is where we keep our wines and um, we keep in this really cute wine rack and I got that from Crate and Barrel I'll put in um, I'll put it in the description box below so you guys can reference it if you like it and then next to it that is where obviously we have some beers available um, and then moving to the second shelf that is I feel like our everyday drinking shelf because we love coffee we love tea so um, we have an assortment of coffee in our cute little basket here to choose from we always like to try different types um, and then I have our mason jar here of just the coffee that we're drinking you know at the moment and once it gets low of course I'll refill it with another um, coffee and then behind it I actually have our coffee grinder that you know anytime we want to grind some coffee beans we are prepared <laughs> and then next to it is our assortment of teas um, I got this really cute bamboo uh, you know tea organizer from Amazon I absolutely love it and it does the job beautifully it's so pretty and it's just really easy to you know refill and grab the teas and go and then as you get to the top of course this is where we keep our hard alcohol but you know it's funny we were laughing the other day that we are definitely not huge drinkers <laughs> the vast majority of the alcohol here is from our wedding which is nine months ago now so kind of shows you how often we drink it's not very often but it's still really nice to have here in the case we're entertaining or we want to celebrate or something like that so that is how we organize our pantry and I'm telling you the best thing is when you're about to go grocery shopping and I open my pantry and cabinets and I do not have to dig for anything because I know exactly where everything is at and especially because they're in glass jars I can see oh look at my you know baking shelf look at my soft shelf and see exactly of how much I need of what item it's magical not only has this obviously kept us organized but it's also helped us like just save money because we're we're not overbuying we're not having just things sit there and waiting to go bad it's really great i love it
Alrighty guys, and that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you found it helpful. If so, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe to join the VNH family. Like I always say, be sure to spread the love and be that loving, positive change you want to see in the world. And thank you guys so much again for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.